And tonight, local Muslims are reacting to the Koran burning protest being canceled. Fox 43's Sarah Bagast is here with more on that. Local Muslims say they are certainly relieved that Reverend Jones has called off the event. They say if he would have gone through with it, it would have only promoted hatred on a day meant for remembrance. What Reverend Jones was going to, was going to do was literally going to uh, burn the bridges that all faiths have worked on building over the last many years. Movie Mumtaz is very active in the local Muslim community, serving as a youth president. He says he was hurt by news of the burning event planned for this weekend. We are part of, parcel of this country. Uh, and to feel that somebody wants to come and take that away from us in this manner is, is obviously extremely disappointing. That disappointment has turned to relief. He's thankful the ninth anniversary of the September 11th attacks won't be tarnished by the burning of these words, teachings from the Koran. Burning a physical book really doesn't mean anything. I mean, it's really what's the message inside the book. We obviously believe the message inside the book is love for all, hatred for none. That message written here on this building where local Muslims meet in Silver Spring Township. Mumtaz says despite stereotypes, members promote acceptance, something put in jeopardy by a Christian leader several states away. Uh, he was not only hurting our religion, he was also hurting the Christians all over the world. Christianity, which is the epitome of religious tolerance, he was giving that a bad name. Local Muslims say there is one good thing that came out of the event being planned. It actually brought people from all different religions together in opposition of the protest.